Hello everyone. I am Rama. In this lecture, I am going to show you power method. This method is an iterative method. It is simple and easy to implement. This method is useful to find the largest eigenvalue in magnitude and its corresponding eigenvector of the given matrix A. That means this method gives only one eigenvalue which is maximum in magnitude. Magnitude in the sense we should consider the absolute of that eigenvalue. Then that will be the maximum one of given matrix A. Let us see its working procedure. For our convenience, I am taking A as a 3 by 3 matrix. It will have three eigenvalues. It is very clear to us. Then the eigenvectors of A will be containing three components as the order of the matrix is 3. If the matrix A is of order N, then eigenvector X will contain N components. So we are going to discuss this power method for a 3 by 3 matrix. First step is choose initial guess to the eigenvector of A corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda as Initial vector is shown as x0 equals to 1, 0, 0. x is containing three components as I have taken a is of order 3. After choosing the initial guess to the eigenvector of a corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda, we need to do the eigenvector using the iteration formula. Let us see how it can be done. In step 2, we find A x 0. A is the given matrix. x 0 is the initial vector we have chosen. And we express the resultant vector as some other vector q1. Then we express q1 in the form of lambda x that is taken as lambda 1 x1 by taking the largest element common that is in magnitude so that this can be shown as q1 is equals to a x0 that is expressed as lambda 1 x1 x0 is the initial vector by the definition a x must be represented as lambda x so this x0 is different from this x on the right hand side. This x1 is said to be the first approximation to the first, uh, x1 is the first approximation to the eigenvector of A. And lambda 1 is the first approximation to the eigenvalue corresponding to x. And in step 3, we repeat step 3, sorry, step 2 with the new vector x1. So that we find a x1, then we express it as some q2 and we express q2 in the form of lambda x that is to be taken as lambda 2 x2 by taking the largest element common from the resultant vector q2. So that Q2 is equals to A X1 equals to lambda 2 X2. We repeat the same process so that the iteration formula can be expressed as QK equals to A X K minus 1. A is multiplied with K minus 1 approximation of X. And this A X is in the form of lambda X where lambda X is taken as lambda K X K. It means this lambda k is the kth approximation to the eigenvalue lambda and x k is the kth approximation to the eigenvector x. So x k takes values from 1, 2, 3 and so on. If k is given as 1, then this will be similar to q1 is equal to a x 0 equals to lambda 1 x1 that we have or we can see in step 2. If k equals to 2, then we get q2 is equal to a x1 that is equals to lambda 2 x2 that we have seen in step 3 just before. 
So this is the integration formula to generate a sequence of approximations to the eigenvector x and its corresponding eigenvalue lambda. Since it is an iteration process, we need to stop this iteration process when two successive approximations or iterations q1, qk, qk plus 1 are same up to the desired accuracy. That means uh, the accuracy may be up to two decimal places, three decimal places, etc. And from the last iteration, we consider eigenvalue and eigenvector from RHS part of 1. And it is shown that lambda is taken as lambda k which is approximately close to lambda k plus 1. Kth approximation is very close to k plus 1th approximation. So lambda should be taken as lambda k plus 1 because it is the latest iteration. And the eigenvector is taken as x equals to xk which is very much close to xk plus 1. Kth iteration of x is very much close to k plus 1th iteration of x. The latest iteration x k plus 1 must be taken as x. This is the process to be done to each problem to find only the largest eigenvalue in magnitude of a given matrix. Let us see an example in next lecture.